Hi everyone and welcome to Module 5. With this module, we are halfway through your Leading Edge certification. This week's topic is online accessibility and online presence. This past week, we explored ways to build community in an online course. You are probably in the process of writing your discussion prompt for your students, and you will be reflecting on the ways in which you use social media or online tools for your own learning. Speaking of community, I loved getting to know you better through the voice thread. Hearing your voices really helped to make me feel like I know you better. There are several comments in the voice thread about teacher presence. Bonnie noted the participation barriers that an online environment might eliminate for some students. Rochelle is excited about social media tools and how they might support online learning. And Erin clearly has the mind of an instructional designer with a great understanding of how outcomes, directions, and navigation can play a role in supporting student learning. Module 5 will build on this learning by asking you to create a presence that is also accessible. Most of the Module 5 readings deal with accessibility, ensuring that your course will work for students with both identified and non-identified disabilities. For most of us, these are new concepts. The materials that we need to support students with vision or hearing impairments are typically just provided by the district. But in an online course, we need to think about these elements differently. The portfolio assignment for this week is to create a video resource that meets ADA accessibility requirements through captioning and transcription. YouTube has a great captioning tool, but you may need to write the text ahead of time and be sure to upload it as a .txt file or other file that's free of HTML. The automatic captioning within YouTube is pretty good, but be sure to edit it so that your captions are accurate and free of distracting spelling or punctuation errors. Take a look at the video in the tutorial section if you'd like some guidance on what the captioning process looks like. If you have access to another tool for transcription or closed captioning, feel free to use it. You will also notice that this week's discussion is a reflection. You do not have a separate reflection assignment to submit this week. So enjoy your week and let me know how I can support you. I'll see you online.